In this video, we'll be going over study bar size. By default, when you create a study, it will use the bar size of the chart. So for example, here we have the daily chart. And if I were to bring up a study, let's say the simple moving average, and plot it. Now by default, this moving average will be based on the daily time frame. So if we take a look, right click, edit, You'll notice here on options, it says use chart bar size. So if I were to change this to the hourly, it is now based on the hourly. And if I change over to the 15 minutes, it is now based on the 15 minute. Now Motive Wave does allow you to choose a specific bar size for the study. So for example, on this 15 minute chart, if I wanted to display a one day SMA, then I can do that. I can go over here, select options and uncheck use chart bar size and now specifically set one day. Click apply, update, and now you'll notice that the bar size is displayed here in the legend. It says here one day. Now if we compress the chart, we should be able to see, there we go, there's the daily SMA. Okay, now on this chart, if we also wanted, for example, to put an EMA study add. And let's say for this one, we wanted the five minute on the 15 minute. We can plot that as well. Here we have it. And it says here, five minute. Now let me just change the color so we can see it a lot better. Maybe we'll make this a brighter color. So here we have the five minute, which is here. And let me change this one to green so we can see it much better. And there's your daily, and there's your five minute. This feature also applies to study plots. So for example, you can display a 10 minute RSI on this 15 minute chart. So if I were to go to add study, type in RSI, and let's pick this one here. And here for options, for instance, instead of the 15 minute, if I wanted the 10 minute, click create. Let's just make this larger here. And now you'll notice here that it states it's a 10 minute RSI on a 15 minute time frame. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.